hello everyone welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and today I thought of doing the reading in a different setup I wanted to test my new mic do let me know if you're reaching if my voice is reaching to you correctly and I wanted to do it in a different setup so today I'm doing the reading for Sun Moon and the rising sign of Scorpio Scorpio please keep in mind that I'm going to do your general reading for the month of uh, April 2022 this is going to be a general reading so please pick it up what resonates with you please leave the rest for others and I wanted to tell you that I have changed the pattern of doing the monthly reading I shall be doing your energy oracle first and then I shall be doing your weeklies and then clarifying it with tarot and at the end I'm going to give you the special angel message card along with the angel of abundance card so I have these three numbers with me number one number two and number three so you can choose the number to which you are attracted the most and at the end of the video I am going to pull out the specific angel fairy messages and angel of abundance messages depending upon these numbers so that we are able to filter the messages even further and and this will help you in understanding that what is it your aura your soul is attracting at this point of time so let us move on to your reading and this I have specially purchased for you people because I wanted you to <laughs> listen to my videos without any surrounding noises because there's a lot of construction going around my place and I thought that how I can help you in uh, you know uh, sharing my videos with you without noise okay now let us see what do we have in your energies what do we have in your energies today and I hope the cards are visible to you let me see what are your energies for the month of April, Sun, Moon and Rising Scorpio. What do we need to know for you? What do we need to know for you? It is the Envy. It is Door to Value. That's an amazing, lovely one. Okay. And the next is the thinking woman so these are your energies for the month of Scorpio let me now pull out your let me now pull out your weeklies okay for Sun Moon and rising Scorpio what do we need to know what do we need to know for you week one I have the justice I hope the cards are visible to you. Okay. Week one, you have the justice. Week two, you have the new beginning. Another major arcana card. Week three, you have four of Gabriel. And week four, you have the knight of Raphael okay so these are your four cards and let me see what are your tarot what cards do we have in your tarot clarifying your weeks so week one the justice is being clarified with okay it is being clarified I was not sure whether it is getting recorded or not because I'm using this I'm sorry if there are any delays from my side in using this okay clarifying week one I have the judgment I have the three of wands and I have the ace of swords okay in week two with new beginning i have the moon the major arcana again four of cups 
and I have the emperor. Okay, with week three, with four of Gabriel, I have five of wands. I have ten of wands. And I have the star. Okay. Week four with Raphael, Knight of Raphael. I have four of pentacles. I have seven of pentacles. And I have three of pentacles. Great money coming in too. That's a lovely one. Okay, let me begin with your energies. You have the envy and the door to value and the thinking woman in your reading. Now, if you see your energy oracle, your door to value is the card which is completely being reflected in your complete reading. No matter what Scorpio, this month you're going to get great amount of money from all sources. If you feel the money was struck, if you feel the medium to get the money was struck, you are definitely going to get that opened up within this month. And I also foresee there is a recovery which is going to happen very, very soon with this particular card. And this says that you are thinking a lot, but there is no doubt about it. Till the time you're not moving into assumptions, you're not moving into judgments. It is absolutely fine if you're thinking about it. This card also says that there is a thinking person in your aura around who is going to really help you in walking through the difficulties of your life, in walking through the struggles of your life. When you have good and thinking people around, you also move into wisdom and knowledge more. So this is definitely going to happen. But you have a feeling of jealousy. Uh, you know, uh, the aura is little animism is filled with animism i mean to say people surrounding you is uh, it's difficult to say that who are your well wishers because the moment you share your secret with everybody and everybody is not happy with your happiness so keep that in mind that this month you have to be very very careful that with whom you are sharing with what you are sharing and whether that sharing is going into your favor or not so be very specific about things if you are sharing it with people around now in your week one, you are coming up with karmic justice, things getting balanced for you. And it says fight for justice and equality, ruling made in your favor. Don't give up. If you're running a legal case, things are going to fall into your favor. Things are really going to help you out and need less to say, don't take a back step. If you're working on a on a you know on your own legal assignment if you are fighting for your own self whether in personal life professional life don't take a back seat this is definitely going to help you a lot things are going to fall definitely into your favor only and week one you have judgment you have three of wands you have ace of wands this month is going to be a mix of everything and with this judgment your life is changing. It is going to be a new perspective. You're absolutely moving into a new phase of life. This means earlier part of life was different and from now your life is going to be different. You will have new people. You will have new environment. You will have new contacts, new networks, new style of living. It is, it is, a, it is a internal self spiritual awakening with which you have a different view how you're going to look at to the life so it is talking about that then you have ace of swords there is a, some new communication coming into your life this could be a new job this could be a new relationship this is something new which is entering into your life and the communication will start happening you also have three of swords uh, three of wands into your reading you have done hard work in the past and now you are waiting for that result for that outcome so you don't have to worry it is coming very, very soon. If you're waiting for any judgment, if you're waiting for any interview result, if you're waiting for any result for the investment, it is going to come very, very soon. You will see the outcome and the result for sure. Now, in week two, you have the new beginning. It says, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Now, this is leap of faith. With this ace of swords, you are entering into a new thing. 
this could be anything because this is a general reading and you know that you have to pick it up and resonate it accordingly. With this new beginning, you have to see that whether you want to begin a new job, new project, new business, new money investment or new relationship. But the moment you are ready for it, that I want to begin, you are already there. Your stars are such that you are already near to your new beginning. Then you have a card of moon. You are still going in a dilemma, in a confusion, whether to start, whether to not to start. Take little time in taking a major decision right at the moment. Allow this confusion to go. Don't take a decision when you are still confused. But in that duration, my only suggestion to you is the angel says that it's time for you to trust your gut feeling and intuition for sure. Now, whatever is being offered to you right at the moment, even if some if something is coming new into your platter, you're not interested. Something, you know, which really excites you to begin. If you're looking for a job, the jobs are coming, projects are coming, relationships are coming and going, but you're not excited. Maybe you are not uh, eager enough to start with the new beginning or whatever is being offered to you, you are not interested. No rush. Don't jump. If you're not liking something, hold on. Hold on with your decision. That is the confusion that you want to begin, but you're not getting something of your choice. Take your time. There is no hurry. There is no rush. You can take the decision later on also. But till the time you feel that I'm 100% I'm sure to move on, don't take that major decision. And the emperor says that whenever you're taking a decision, at least you can start thinking logically, practically, rationally. Having said that, I do not mean to say that you're not uh, thinking that ways. But I am getting a sense that a lot many times your personal emotions are coming in between, which is, you know, we all are human. And it is very much possible that it is coming. But the angels are still telling, if you look more towards the things of your life in this manner, logical, practical, rational, it will give you a better perspective to carry on your things. That's the suggestion from the universe. And then in week third, you have four of Gabriel. Whatever you are beginning new, when you will decide that now is the time I'm going to start this new thing and I'm prepared and I will do it from now, you are going to make a rock solid, long lasting foundation for yourself. Just keep that in mind. This is going to definitely last for long. And it says time for celebration, abundant reward for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. And if you see in this third week, my dear friends, you are coming up with a wish fulfillment and you are ending up with something burdensome, responsibility on your shoulders, something where you are facing arguments, disagreements, confusions, quarrels, competition. From five of wands, you are moving to ten of wands. The situation is quarrelsome, already Scorpio. It is getting over your head and over your shoulder and ultimately you decided to end it off. Once you end it off and you move on to new thing, you will find that, oh, that was my dream. I'm getting it fulfilled. That was my wish I was getting fulfilled. But there is some, there is some hope, some wish fulfillment, which is definitely coming to your cards for sure. Okay. Now with four of uh, pentacles, with a uh, knight of Raphael, I don't know why I said four of pentacles because it was coming to my eyes again and again. Week fourth, you have a lot of pentacles in you to your reading. You have four of pentacles, you have seven of pentacles, you have three of pentacles. It says committed romantic relationship being swept off of your feet, situations or topic that make your heart flutter. Now the situation in the fourth week is coming in such a way that your complete focus from your love life, emotional life or personal life is going to shift to the practical life. That is your career, your money, your finances. And that is why in week four, you already have a lot of cards of pentacle. Four of pentacle says, whatever you have in your hand, don't allow to let it go just like that. Think carefully and then replace it with something better. Just not that you leave your earning bread and butter, you sit at home and then you start, uh, you know, searching for new. No, no, no. You first have what you have in your hand, prepare a replacement and then change. And Seven of Pentacles says it's time for you to wait and watch. Till the time you don't get something exciting, better. You can still uh, take your time. You can still wait for something to uh, have the, you know, something better to have. And with three of wands, 
it is saying that you know you will be able to better market yourself you will be able to better uh, network yourself well you are moving into teams into collaborations into partnerships so while you are working alone three of pentacles says that you will be benefited more when you are working along with people so expect that instead of individual working you are working with people you are working in team you are working in joint ventures this is really really going to help you out now i'm going to pull out the messages for people who opted for number 1 and the message for people who opted for number 1 i'm going to pull out the fairy messages first fairy messages to people who opted for number 1 and it is autumn and the message is in the fall season everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest of time that's a lovely message for people who opted for number 1 and your angel message is angel of abundance message for people who opted for number 1 i'm trying to pull it out quickly and it is conscious consumer and it says you have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical environmental friendly as a conscious consumer you choose to invest in a fair trade and organic goods you live simply and you purchase only that what is needed okay now for people who opted for number 2 your message is the fairy message for people who opted for number 2 is your desire is within reach have faith as everything is working in your favor lovely and your abundance oh my goodness you have a flyer it says have courage to ask for and accept help asking for help is a sign of strength as is accepting it is a it is offered to you very often when you ask god for help prayers are answered through other people be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided that's a lovely message now i'm pulling out the fairy messages for people who opted for number 3 i hope the number is clear to you okay now fairy message please it is marriage so it is literally marriage for a lot of people people who are looking forward to engagements formal commitment marriages but it is also the partnership formal engagement at workplace professional life as well it says the fairy joins you in celebrating the wedded bliss that means it's time for you to collaborate and do business with people if you are looking forward to a professional alliance and your message is clean energy food the message is when you will fuel your body with a healthful organic diet you increase your energy level and ability to focus this automatically leads to more efficiency better ideas and a higher vibration which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationship so dear friends that was your detailed reading for scorpio for the month of april 2022 it's a general reading please pick it up what resonates with you please leave the rest for others and i'm sorry for the hiccups because i'm using this for the first time i'm not sure whether i'm using it correctly or not you people have to tell me whether my boy voice is clear whether you're not able to hear any environmental disturbance and whether i'm using it correctly or not be blessed i will see you next time very soon